Once upon a time, there was a wonderful cat named Stripe. He had friends named Scruffy and Graybones. Hey, Stripe, you want to go downtown? Down the alley to get some garbage food? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, sure, let's go. So the three cats went downtown, down the alley, to get some food scraps. Oh, I think we turned the corner here, Stripes. Yeah, I think you're right. I can smell the corn on the cob. Ooh, and tuna and blueberry. Yippee, let's go. Ooh, this looks delicious. The cats found two large garbage cans full of delicious food in the alley. Mmm, I found the corn on the cob. It's delicious. Mmm, I found the blueberry pie. And Gray Bones found some tuna. This is great, guys. Everybody chow down. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the cats were having a delicious feast when a bully cat sprung down. Boink. Scram, cats. What makes you think you can do that, you big bully? This isn't all your food. Boo! Ah! And the three friends ran off to the country. Well, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> now I've got all the food to myself. And with that, the bully cat ate as much as he wanted. Nom, 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 nom. Guys, we've got to do something. That big bully, he always eats all of our food. Oh, Scruffy, get that blueberry stuff off of your face. I'm trying, and it takes a while to lick it all off, you know. Guys, we've got to think of something. That big bully, he's just bigger than us. We've got to, we've got to scare him somehow. Like, we've got to look bigger than him. Well, how are we supposed to look bigger without any nutrients? We can't get any bigger. We've got to think of something. Well, look look behind you. The farmer's daughter has left out a burlap sack, a paper bag, and, and even pipe cleaners. Yeah, and I know where the scissors are and the glue gun. So what good does that do? We can make ourselves a big cat costume and look bigger than that cat. Do you think it'll work? I think we should try it. Yeah, he's right. We should go ahead and try it. Come on, guys. Let's get going. And so the three cats got to work. They worked on making a burlap paper bag costume to hide in to scare off the big bully. All right, guys, what do you think? It looks pretty good. Well, do you think it's going to fool him? You got a lot of glue strings hanging over here. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Yeah, and there's a that tail looks a little stiff, too. He's not going to know. He's not, you know, the most brilliant kind of cat in the world. He's just a big bully. Well, I sure hope you're right, Stripe. Okay, now what's the plan? Well, we're going to get inside and we're going to walk downtown and get in the alley and we're going to scare him. I'll do the talking. I'm going to talk into the cup and it's going to lower my voice. I'm going to talk as low as I can and the cup will help it sound really loud and low. All right, Stripe. I hope this works. Me too. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get inside. Ow, this is kind of scratchy. This is kind of scratchy, Stripe. You guys got to quit complaining. All right, remember, turn the corner here. All right, guys. He's coming, so just hang out here. Scram! Whoa! Who are you? 
Uh, I'm a big cat. Yeah, you look big. And I'm new in town. If you don't get out of here by the count of three, something bad is gonna happen. A one, a two, I'm out of here. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> and so, the three cats jumped out of their costume. Wee yippee! And they ate and they ate until their hearts content. Ooh, look up here! Yeah, I never got on the tops before. Mmm, 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 delicious! And the three cats lived happily ever after. Meow! Meow, meow, meow! Hello there! It's me, Ellie! Oh, yes! And today, we are going to spell Stripe in honor of our cat. Stripe! Um, I guess you could call him Stripes, because he's got some extra on the face. But we're going to just go with Stripe, because he's got one main stripe. Okay, so either way, but we're going to do Stripe today. In honor of you, Stripe, because you were so heroic and a genius for thinking of that cat costume to scare away the bully. It was extraordinary and wonderful. Gee, thanks, Ellie. You're welcome. Okay, so let's get started. Let's spell Stripe. Bring down the s Oh, yes. Bring it down. And a t. Uh-huh. St. We need a r. Uh-huh. St. R. And we need a I. Which I do we use? The short I, as in I for Iggy, the iguana, or I for ice cube that melts. Which one do I use? St. R. I. Think about it and listen. Stry. If you picked I for ice, you're right. Okay. Stry. We need a. Oh, very good. And then we need a silent E at the end. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Stry. And that one doesn't say anything, it's in gray. So shh, don't wake it up. Stripe, and that one doesn't say anything. Ta-da! And now we're going to write it, um, because we can, of course. Okay, get out a marker. And here we go. Okay, good. St -er I. Pa. And then a gray crayon or marker to make the silent E. Maybe make it just a little bit darker. Okay, there we go. St Stripe. Stripe. Good job. Voila. Hi guys, it's me, Jerome, and it's time for letter R. Oh yeah. Okay, so in our story, the three cats, they made a cool costume that was big and that scared away this bully cat right here. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll show you their costume. There it is. Alright, there it is. It's got some glue strings hanging down and everything, but... For cats, they did pretty good. Okay, well, this cat pretty much had all he had to do was say, scram, and then this cat would run away. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to call this cat scram. Uh-huh. <coughs> Look at his tail. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cute. 
Okay, so I'm going to kind of put them on the corner. I bet we're going to spell it too. So get out a marker, a dark marker. And I need a red marker um, or crayon too, just in case. Well, wait, we need it for one of the letters, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to do a S. And then a K. And then a R. Okay, let's sound that out. Sk, rr, skr. Okay, now we need an A. Ah. All right, this is where I need a red crayon or pencil or something. Color it in for A for apple. So it's on its training wheels. All right, we're almost done, guys. Sk, rr, a, mm. Scram! There you go. Okay, now we're gonna draw him. Okay, take a look. All right, it's kind of got a boxy looking face. They used a paper bag, so we're gonna draw that. Okay, so go down, over, up, down in a diagonal, and then over and up in a diagonal. Okay, good. It's kind of got some interesting eyes and whiskers and stuff so they used pipe cleaners okay so here we go we got some eyes and a for the nose and some whiskers okay and then kind of a blob for the body right and a funny looking tail okay so here we go there's our blob for the body and then that's kind of their tail. You might want to make it thicker just because it's, you know, a pipe cleaner and color it in. Okay, and this is burlap right here. So let me show you. It's got a cool texture, okay? So you can do some lines and then go across the other way. Maybe make the whiskers a little thicker so you can tell the difference. Okay, there's that costume that the cat's created, and it's a it's a pretend cat, and we named him Scram. Scram. All right, good job, guys. Hi, guys. I have a big chocolate bar. It's very. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. And I'm going to give it to Ellie. Oh, yeah. So, it's a surprise. Okay. Ellie! Oh, Ellie, I got something here you would really like. I'm coming, Jerome. Yes, Jerome, what is it? I have a chocolate bar for you. Oh, how scrumptious. Oh, Jerome, delicious. We shall share it together. Hello there. Look what I have. I have a string that I found. It starts with a s and then a t and then a r. Ring, string. I didn't spell the rest, but you have the beginning. Okay, now with the string, I could maybe put it around my hair. Okay, that looks interesting. Or, let's see. Oh dear. String. I could also make some glasses okay so if i put a little circle around this side uh-huh and then another one how do i look guys all right i made some string glasses all right i think i'm getting a little silly okay enough of that string ta-da Hi guys, I bumped my head and now it really throbs. 
You know when you bump your head and it just kind of has its own heartbeat? Oh, it's painful. Oh, dear, dear, dear. We better spell the word throbs. First, listen. Am I saying the, the airy worm? Throbs or the voicey one? The robs. If you pick this one, you're right. Okay, it's the airy one. Rrr, I need a rrr. Uh huh. Thrr, ob, throbs. Throbs. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a heartbeat. I really need Allie to bring me an ice pack because it hurts so bad. I was skateboarding, went down a hill, tripped over a big bump, and hit my head. And so it really hurts. So I really, really need an ice pack. Allie, Allie, could you bring me an ice pack, please? Jerome, I'm on it. I know you need an ice pack. Let me ice that poor thing. Oh, Allie, thank you for caring for me. You're welcome. Throbs. And don't forget our list.